Hey, what is up guys, Vales here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a lead sound from the Pressure Cooker song by Pegboard Nerds, and here's what it sounds like. Okay, so that's what I got. It's uh, similar, I guess. It, it sounds uh, like... So first of all, I'm going to take off the effects because uh, I might go back to it, but if in case I don't, high pass... Um, Com multi band compression and a little reverb. Okay, so uh, here's the patch, the massive patch. One sound, that's it. Um, basically, it's the same concept as the snow cone sound as well. Um, so we're going to start off. First oscillator, negative 24. Uh, wavetable is sine square. Wavetable position completely to the left, so zero. And bend plus minus, intensity 75. Uh, the amp on this one's at 86, and that's it for that. For, for so far, um, oscillator two pitches at 24, um, sine square once again, same wavetable all the way to the left, and spectrum intensity up all the way, amp up all the way. So, yeah, that's it for the oscillators. Uh, you're gonna go into noise here, so 31 for white noise, obviously, and color up all the way. Um, we got a low pass two here, the position is at 13, and then the resonance here is at um. 30 so yeah uh, that that's it for the filter here uh, go to your routing tab hit the insert 2 um, just after the um, X here I guess <laughs> so after the filters and also make sure that in your oscillator tab here uh, it's up 12 and then down negative 12 and hit restart by gate those are pretty important things kind of if you want to automate <laughs> anyway um, yeah that's weird um, so we routed insert 2 here after the X in order to put a P shaper. It just distorts really well. I, I like what it does. So, uh, next thing up is the C tube. Uh, full distortion, you know, full drive, dry wet on both of these. Uh, next thing up, a little dimension expander. Okay, so size at 7, uh, dry wet's at 14, and then a uh, little EQ. It doesn't really do anything. Um, <laughs> I put the high shelf up 2%, so it's at 52. Okay, so finally for the patch, there's two envelopes that are doing things in here. So there's the first envelope that's uh, modulating the cutoff. So just uh, set it, um, you know, set the range to in between the O and the F there, okay. Um, and then uh, the envelope here in this case is attack 29 level all the way, level all the way, release is at 15. And... Um, We've got another one here, which is for the pitch. Uh, there is pitch automation, I, I thought, or I, I heard in the uh, original sound. So, yeah, just set that to the pitch of both oscillators here and set it to plus 12. Uh, and then the attack here is 28, the release is 15. So, yeah, those are the only two automations that are happening here. And uh, finally, for the, the uh, post-processing, here's what it sounds like without effects. Still sounds like the sound, you know, but it's not as um, um, similar, I guess. So I, I did high pass this at 90 hertz. Okay, so I did a little boost at 173 there, uh, reduced a bit at 464, and then reduced a bit at 4802. And then finally, um, I boosted the high, uh, you know, the treble a little bit. After that, I have a uh, serum compressor, a multiband here, and then the... Uh, gain is at 3.7 and then I have a little bit of reverb finally uh, to end it off okay so I edited a little bit of that 13.1 K Hertz 11.8 and then 0.3 decay and then I did lower the mix here to 15% so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video uh, if you did please be sure to smack that like button and uh, leave a comment down below if you have any questions so yeah I'll see you guys in the next video and have a good day peace